climax of the Big Air World Championships here in Tarifa. It's absolutely nuking. Six and seven metre kites are being pumped up. World champions will be crowned. Legends will be made. This is going to be epic. We started the day with women's twin tip Big Air and it was all about one rider. All right, guys, so today is the second day, and uh, yeah, conditions are definitely pumping. McKaylee's soul went from strength to strength with really smooth riding. Nobody could stop her marching on to another world title. That's seven for her. Finishing in second place was a strong performance from Natalie Lambrecht, landing some of her powerful big moves. Zara Hugenrad, considered a local around these parts, had the home support, but had to settle for third place. Angelie Bouillol from France, looking to go for the world title as well, didn't quite get it together in the final and settles for four. Like, I feel like the big air ones mean more to me than the freestyle ones at this point because, I don't know, I'm new to big air. This is like something that I really have to train for. We then moved on to the surfboard big air discipline. The heights these riders can go now is just truly amazing. The big news in the surfboard big air discipline was that the reigning champion had to pull out Ayrton Cozzolino, too injured to take part. Normally before this event I went to Africa for uh, training and uh, film some videos. At the last day I, I found a really bad gust which like put me down so hard and then I fell so hard with my ribs and uh, dislocated the rib again, you know. I wanted to defend my world champion, no? so I came here. Uh, I put my harness on, tried to do like a few tricks, but I couldn't. I was so in so much pain, you know. James Storm Carew, very highly tipped to win this thing, was totally unstoppable, taking a first place. In second place was local rider Mark Gariga, who really pulled out all the stops, wowing all of the crowd. Third place went to another Spanish rider, Kiko Roig, really happy with his performance and some lovely big front rolls. Keanu, another familiar face around these parts, didn't have his best heat in the final, but he'll be stoked to have got to the last four. People are double looping already and going massive. At the start of the day, in the twin tip big air division, four riders could become big air world champion. But as the competition day progressed, only two would make it to the final. The big shocks here being Jamie Overbeek being knocked out by Mark Jacobs in the quarter final, an incredible performance by Coan Van Dyke in the semi finals, ending the dreams of local favourite Liam Whaley. After a long day of action here, there was a lot of tension surrounding the final. Some unforeseen breaks really testing the riders' focus as they went out onto the water. Lorenzo and Andrea, the only two riders left that could become Big Air World Champion, had to battle it out with Hilflu, considered to be a local around these parts, and Kohan Van Dyke, who seems to be riding on another planet. It wasn't the best start from Andrea Principi, our current reigning world champion, but he went from strength to strength and finished up on top in one of the closest kiteboarding heats we've ever seen. Cohen van Dijk had to settle for second place, but he'll be really happy with his level of riding here. In third place, Lorenzo Casati, so close to that world title, but he'll have to wait for next year. Gil Vlug coming in in fourth place. Of course, I'm really happy. I became like two times world champion. Was I, I was dreaming for, you know, I'm so stoked. I was here with my family that helped me a lot. So it's like, make me cry, you know, because be here with my family that was watching me, I make my family proud of me. And this is the most important thing for me. And so stoked, yeah. I can't believe what we've just witnessed out on the water. This is definitely a day to remember in the history of Tarifa. Once again, Tarifa provided the goods. The tricks were massive. The crashes were huge. This is truly big air kiteboarding. See you in Rio.